All right, brother, how you doing? So you moved to Vegas, and I promised you I'd show you how to shave with a safety razor and uh, the razor I gave you with the blades and the brush and the shaving cream. So here we go, let's get started. The four things you need, your shaving cream, your brush, your razor, and a blade. So what you do is grab your razor, take the blade, insert it over the post, insert the post into the barrel, tighten it down, ready to rock and roll with your razor. Grab your brush, and I like to let it sit in a cup of water for a couple of minutes, hot water, and fill your sink bowl at the same time while you wait for that to, for your brush to absorb the water so it makes a nice cream for you. Shake off the water, just give it a couple shakes, start to run it around in your shaving cream like so. Just get it on the tips, you don't need to go crazy with it. And then I'll set the brush down for a second, wet my face, hot water from the sink. Like so. You will grab your brush and just start applying to your, to your whiskers in a circular motion like so. And if you see that it's a little dry, you can always dip it in the water and add a touch. When you come around your nose, you can put two fingers on the brush like so and direct it under your nose and by your ears so you don't fill up your nose with shaving cream and you have a shaving attack. It's not fun. I've done that, by the way. Dip a tad of water, just a little couple droplets of water on the end. So you want to apply the shaving cream so you don't see any skin underneath, just the shaving cream. And this helps exfoliate your beard, remove the dirt, raise the whiskers, get it ready to be shaved off nice and clean with your surgical steel safety razor. No pulling, no tugging allowed. Okay, so paint it a little bit, like so, just so there's no bumps or clumps. Set your brush down, grab your razor, dip that in the hot water also, and then clean off the runway, sir, so you can see where your sideburns are. You don't want to wind up with a sideburn half an inch lower or higher than the other one. Okay, when you do this, locked wrist, none of this activity, okay? And just straight up and down, let your shoulder do the work and let the razor, the weight of the razor against your face is all it takes. You don't need to push in like you do with a multi-cartridge. Just let's get started. Cut your sideburn, just go straight down and you take about one inch strokes like so. And when one side gets filled up, I'll show you. When one side gets filled up on your safety razor, you head over to the other side and that's why it's a double-edged blade. You can use both sides of it. Work your way down, this first pass will be straight down. With the grain, straight down is what we're doing this first time. Careful at the lip, very sensitive. Flatten out your chin, roll, roll your uh, lower lip and flatten it. Now around your nose you want to come in underneath, not from above. You don't want to clip off some of your uh, skin on your nose. Roll your upper lip down and flatten it. Like so. Just like that. Your neckline, straight down. It's off. Okay, just like so. Set your razor down, do a quick rinse. Just get a little more water on your face. You don't need to thoroughly remove all the slickness, it's good to leave it on. It'll still remain slick for your second pass. Start applying your shaving cream again against the grain, circular motion. Again, two fingers pushing down on the brush. And that'll keep the bristles stiff, you'll get a better lather that way. And this is a badger hair brush which will help you, uh, will help you hold the water, retains the moisture, holds the water better, which in turn means a better lathering of your shaving cream. Paint it a little bit, like so. 
Okay, set that down. Clear your runways. Let's see where we're at. Okay, this time, second pass, we'll go from the ear towards the nose. So straight under the sideburn, across like so. And you can hear this working, right? I don't have any music on just for the fact so you can uh, actually hear it. What it sounds like. Under the nose, be careful here. Like so. Okay, backhand grip. Straight across under the sideburn, flip it over. Rinse it off. Like so. Okay, now second pass, you'll go against the grain on the neck. Good, like so. Slight rinse, put your razor down. Grab that brush for the third pass, start applying. I'm trying to get this done in under 10 minutes for you so it all fits on the video nicely. So that's why it probably will take you a little bit longer and I recommend you do take your time when you're getting accustomed to this form of shaving. Okay, I'll show you a little trick here which is after you apply your third coating, get ready for your third pass, paint it, get out the bumps and clumps. You'll grab your shaving cream, grab your brush, and pull off all that shaving cream. A, it'll be easier to clean your brush later on with the cream all off of it. And you can take this and apply this by hand to your face. It's an excellent coating for your final pass. Provides you with some really great lubrication. Like so. So just apply that all over. That's the creme de la creme, brother. That's it. Okay, rinse your hands. Get rid of that shaving cream. Clear the sides. I didn't talk about before the grip. You can just grip it like so with three fingers and thumb or two fingers and thumb, whatever's good for you. Sometimes I like to put the little finger underneath. It just uh, helps you to support it better. You won't drop it for sure. You don't want to drop it on your tile floor and break it. Okay, here we go for the third pass. Start at the nose, work towards the ear. Flatten your lip. Stop short of your ear. You don't want to uh, clip off a part of your earlobe. So make sure you exercise caution in that area. Just like so. Okay. And against the grain here also. You can feel around how your hair on your neck grows. Because mine grows actually towards the grain on one, towards the chin on one side and away from it on the other. So I like to go where it's growing towards the, I like to go against it like this. Again, like so on the left side, which would be the right because you're watching me in the mirror. And then on this side it grows the other way. So I go against it this way. And your beard might be different, but That gives you a nice BSS, baby smooth shave. Okay, rinse off. Okay, so there you have it. I rinse with hot water, then I'll turn the cold water on and give it a really good rinse and close off the pores with the cold water. It's very refreshing, it feels really good. And then on top of that, is I'm going to talk about just this type of shaving. Using this type of a razor with a, a double edge, a single blade, you are shearing that whisker off cleanly 
and there's no pulling and tugging that you find with the, some of these three, four, five multi cartridge, multi blade cartridge razors. There's a lot of pulling and tugging going on with those and you wind up with ingrown hairs because you're slicing off the whisker below the skin. So you don't have that problem with this razor. As you can see, nice and clean, no imperfections, no pimples, no ingrown hairs, no razor stubble. You'll be very happy with it, trust me. And uh, you'll look very professional, you'll feel good. You start your day ready to conquer the world. And uh, that's all I have for now. Check out some of my other videos. I'll make some for uh, pre-shave and post-shave and lathering up a good cream and the best way to uh, prepare your face for a shave. So best of luck and uh, have a great day. Start your day with a great shave. You will have a great day. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.